We're continuing our coverage here from the exhibition floor at ITSEC 2012 in Orlando. And, and uh, Dave from TerraSim has uh, taken a couple seconds to visit with us uh, about what's new at uh, TerraSim. So tell us a little bit about some of the, the new technologies. I was really interested in uh, what you're talking about, destructible buildings. Right. Uh, so TerraSim is a, uh, a content creation company, and we uh, have products that basically span the entire geospatial processing range from source data preparation to compilation to multiple runtimes. And we support visual, constructive, and serious game runtimes. And the interesting thing is we really do have to support the best properties of all these runtimes but make sure that they're correlated so that if someone's putting together a distributed simulation, actions in a constructive simulation can properly affect the visual effects in a game. Sure. Destructible buildings is a key issue because the dynamic events in games uh, provide a huge amount of training benefit, but different games will have different properties. One of the things that we've done for our VBS2 exporter is to augment that so when we build uh, buildings parametrically, we also build the destruct states parametrically gotcha. so they're perfectly correlated. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's excellent. And it's uh, something that's definitely needed just to enhance the overall believability, if you will, of the games. And it also reduces the amount of work that somebody has to do because Typically, if you're just building the building, but you have to then build the destruct state, it almost uh, it almost obviates the advantage of having that automatic building. So we have to do the entire chain. No, that makes sense. Well, tell me, what else are you uh, debuting uh, this year at ITSEC 2012? So one of the things that we've uh, done recently, working closely with SE Core, um, we've built a sample database of the uh, Rodriguez range in uh, Korea. And the key bit there is, again, the correlation theme. We built it in one SAF, and then we also exported it to Havoc Vision, which is a game engine, as well as VBS2, which is uh, clearly the game that the Army is currently using for uh, first-person training. Oh, that's great. Well, for folks that can't attend, uh, Dave, where will they go on the uh, internet to uh, find more information about your company and the products that you're offering? Well, it's uh, www.terrasim.com is our URL. Thanks for taking a couple seconds, Dave, to visit with us. More continuing coverage of great technology, new innovations here from the exhibition floor at ITSEC 2012 in Orlando.